More than 100 Russian conscripts went missing during the Ukrainian offensive in the Kursk region. The parents turned to Russian Z-War correspondents for help, but were harshly refused. This was reported by the Russian opposition publication Important Stories, which spoke with the relatives of the missing. Journalists were able to establish the identities of 125 conscripts from different regions of the Russian Federation who went missing in battles in the Kursk region. Their relatives are being intimidated, demanding that they not bring this topic to the public. Assistants contact the parents of conscripts and explain that it is not worth talking publicly about the capture, death and disappearance of conscripts so as not to play along with Ukrainians and not to confront the authorities. The article says the parents try to turn to Z-War correspondents for help but were refused en masse. Alexander Kotz, Semyon Pegov, Yuri Podolyaka, Evgeny Podubny, Emil Timashev and the URA.ru publication were afraid to raise this topic on their resources. They explained their decision with an article about military fakes. Starting a major war against Ukraine, Russian dictator Vladimir Putin promised Russians that conscripts would not fight. This turned out to be a lie. Moreover, Kremlin propaganda is now actively talking about the need to involve conscripts in the so-called special military operation due to the fact that the war has moved to Russian territory. Putin is trying to distance himself from this topic as much as possible and does not comment on it. And this causes bewilderment and anger among Russians. Putin flew to Chechnya to negotiate not about exchanging our children but about Akhmat. And our guys are of no use to anyone except us complained the mother of one of the missing conscripts. It is known that during their offensive in the Kursk region, the Ukrainian armed forces captured at least 250 conscript soldiers who were on the border. Russian media claim that the Russian military command is now massively transferring conscripts to the Kursk region and taking away their mobile phones. Parents are being urged to mentally prepare for the fact that their children will take part in military operations. Multiple people were killed and several more injured in a knife attack at a festival in the city of Zollingen in western Germany, according to German police. Police in Germany are searching for an unknown suspect behind a mass stabbing at a festival in the western city of Zollingen. Eight people were injured, five of them seriously, three people were killed police said. The dead included one woman and two men. Both victims and witnesses were currently being questioned, Police in the nearby city of Dusseldorf said in a statement, adding that a large contingent of officers was searching for the perpetrator. Witnesses alerted police shortly after an unknown perpetrator having wounded several people with a knife on a central square, the Fraunhof. Police said that the perpetrator was on the run, and that they so far had only very thin information on the assailant. They said they believe the stabbings were carried out by a lone attacker. One of the festival organizers, Philip Muller, appeared on stage and asked festival goers to go calmly, please keep your eyes open, because unfortunately the perpetrator hasn't been caught. He said many people had been wounded by a knife man. In a social media post, Zoling and Mayor Tim Kurzbach wrote that the city was in shock, fright and great sadness. We all wanted to celebrate our city anniversary together and now we have to mourn the dead and injured. The German news agency DPA cited unidentified police sources as saying the weapon was believed to be a knife and no one had yet been arrested. The Interior Minister of North Rhine-Westphalia State, Herbert Ruhl, visited the scene, telling reporters it was a targeted attack on human life but declining to speculate on the motive. Yeah. 